The Lopes send off their seniors in style as they wrap their home slate and prepare for their final two on the road. What does Coach Marley think of his team's focus? How prepared are they for the most important games of the season as they gear up for the WAC tourney in Vegas? Since it's become a viral sensation, it's only fitting that we put Dan through the auto-complete challenge to answer the internet's most searched questions about the head coach. Can he still dunk? And what's the connection between Dan and the FBI? And Lopes insider Paul Coro joins the show taking a deeper dive into GCU's recent championships. It's all coming up right now on the Dan Marley Show. We have to start establishing this is our play. From here on out. Hey, this is what we play for. We're better safe than them. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Welcome to the Dan Marley Show. Barry Butel alongside the head coach of the GCU Lopes, Dan Marley. And uh, we're all in good moods, right, coach? Yeah. Riding a nice uh, winning streak here. You're about ready to close out the regular season slate. Let's go back. Eastern New Mexico, a little break in the, in the schedule there. So you scheduled a, a non-conference matchup against the Greyhounds, and you come up with a device, divisive victory. Decisive. Decisive. That's what I meant. That's uh, what I meant. Yeah, but that was... Uh... You know, that, they were a pretty good team, very athletic, came out and played hard in the first half, and uh, we did a really good job in the second half of, got, of getting it going, and uh, uh, Michael Finke had a, had a heck of a night, especially in that second half. So um, it was a good win for us. We were able to stay uh, sharp. Um, you know, you kind of want to get games in there when you don't have a non-conference game like you usually do. Uh, probably a little bit better in practice, and I thought our guys reacted well and played well in the second half. Michael Finke, certainly with recent history, he's certainly putting a string of games together that is really stepping up at the right time. He's done a great job. Very uh, uh, confident in his shooting, uh, feels it right now. Um, and our guys are doing a good job of finding him and uh, just like the, what you'd like to see out of your fifth year senior. A uh, guy that's been uh, uh, active, does a great job on the boards also, and then posting up, but his shot has really come around uh, nicely for us. Carlos Johnson in that game had 25 points, just one shy of that career mark at 26, but uh, he's also stepping up as of late. Yeah, both him and Michael have really stepped it up, and Carlos has done a good job of, of not only scoring, but getting to the free throw line. Very aggressive, has cut down on his turnovers, which is nice, uh, but does a good job of getting other people in foul trouble, getting the free throw line. He's active defensively, does a good job on the board. So uh, both uh, Carlos and Michael have been very consistent for us. Last Saturday, Bakersfield comes into town, a tough team, well coached with Coach Barnes, and uh, they gave you all that you could handle there in that opening half. They limited you to just 28 points. We knew it was going to be a great game. Uh, defensively, they're very tough, put a lot of pressure on you. We were coming in a senior night, uh, a lot of emotion. Um, so we hung in there. We weren't very good offensively, missed a lot of shots. Uh, defensively, we were pretty good. But in the second half, uh, we got it rolling a little bit, scored 45 in the second half, and you saw Michael and get you hot. Yeah, Michael Finke, 24 of his 26 points came in that second half. He's Again, we talked about it, but he seems to be really stepping up. Yeah, you know, he just he just got it going. And I told him at halftime he had missed some wide open threes in the first half and just uh, just to keep shooting, and he did that. And I thought Carlos, again, was good. Uh, got to the free throw line. If he would have made his free throws, he would have had a, a really good night. But uh, he was very aggressive. But Michael was uh, was big there in the, in the stretch. And I thought the, our composure-wise, uh, as a team, we were really good. We made some big plays down the stretch, didn't get rattled. Uh, they made a big three uh, to put them up by one, and we came down with no timeouts. And Carlos made a terrific uh, play to Michael. He went up and dunked it, a uh, three-point play. And I can tell you what, I've never uh, heard that arena uh, more loud than that. And it's been really loud in that place. But that, that it erupted, and it was, uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun to hear. Uh, number four on the uh, Sports Center top plays of the day. That was a sweet feed by Carlos, as you mentioned. Trey Drexel, another senior, had a, had a really good night as well. Yeah, he's starting to play better. You know, he's had some problems with the shot, uh, but he made two big threes, uh, made some post-up moves, uh, got a huge rebound when we needed it, when they had a last possession to try to, uh, to tie it. Uh, he did a great job of putting up and getting that rebound. Emotion, you touched on that right off the top. Michael Finke, he joins also Trey Drexel. Matt Jackson and, and Jared Martin have kind of been here, obviously, a little bit longer, so the emotions are a little bit higher, I would imagine. Yeah, it was tough. You know, you have Michael and Trey for one year, but you really appreciate what they did, uh, what they have done for us, and it's not over. But then with Matt and uh, Jared, guys have been here for five years, have kind of grown up with the program. We've been through some significant injuries. Uh, been a big culture uh, guy as far as our team and been terrific on campus in the classroom, so it's always hard to uh, to say goodbyes, uh, goodbye to those guys and their family because they've been a big part of what we've grown here in the last five years. So uh, that was very emotional. Yeah, Jared is really difficult. He was uh, a Havoc's favorite. 
uh, a lot of emotion around guys like that that give a lot more than what's on the court. It is because he, he provides so much for the team and then for him getting injured uh, halfway through the conference season and not being able to play was, was tough on him and tough on us. So uh, his family's great. It was great to see his mom and his brother. Uh, terrific people and it was just a big night for everybody. Matt Jackson, he got some extended minutes, I think about 21 minutes in the game. Ollie Laver uh, kind of scuffling a little Ollie bit. Ollie struggled a little bit, up. yeah, and Matt uh, really good, hit a big shot on the baseline there in the second half. Uh, defensively was really good, took a huge charge. Uh, so it's good. When seniors uh, have been around in those big moments, they don't seem to get rattled. So I thought all our seniors uh, played really well that game. Coming up a little bit later in the show, the autocomplete challenge, you took part in that. It's pretty popular. People find out a little bit more about uh, Dan Marley. We'll be hearing a little Sorry bit about, about Celine De Dion, I think, mentioned well, part of that. Yeah, There's a little backstory yeah. there. Yep. Who your best teammate uh, might have been. Yep. And All you had stuff. quite a few teammates. So you want to make sure you stick around for the autocomplete challenge with head coach Dan Marley. Up next, his chapter at GCU is coming to a close, but he's come up big for the Lopes. Senior Matt Jackson joins the show when we come back. Lopes.com. I will always be with you, my friend. I will be with you until the end. I will always be there when you fall and help you when you need it most. One more member on our roster. Streets of New York is proud to announce Grand Canyon University to our winning team. We are now the official pizza of GCU. Go Lopes. As a teacher, your calling was always to make a difference and positively impact the future. You live with a deep sense of purpose and strive to inspire generations of change. GCU's online Master's of Education degree program gives you the skills you need to grow and develop your career. You're not just inspiring future generations of leaders, you're giving them the tools they need to succeed. Find your purpose at GCU, where advanced technologies drive education. Private, Christian, affordable, nonprofit. Visit gcu.edu slash online. Back to Johnson, he slices in underneath. Michael Finke! In the foul, Michael Finke with a strong finish. Wow. Nice he pass by Carlos Johnson. Welcome back to the Dan Marley Show. Barry Butel alongside Matt Jackson, the senior from the GCU men's basketball team. And I got to talk about recent history. On mm -hmm. Saturday night, it was an emotional night, senior night, yep. homecoming. Your mom and dad, your girlfriend, your uncle, your sister, your cousin, they were all there. What kind of emotions were you going through before um, the game even started? I was very nervous. I think I was more nervous to uh, walk out on court beforehand than actually play the game. But, uh, you know, having all those family members, my girlfriend there, uh, made it real special for me and uh, capped it off with a W. So, can't ask for much more than that. When you uh, first came onto campus from Australia, uh, and we're introduced uh, not only to Phoenix and, and the U.S., but to GCU. How, how have your feelings progressed over the time that you've been here with the Havocs and the student body and your time here at GCU? Um, I feel like I've grown up a lot. Um, you know, coming over here when I was 19, I was still, you know, figuring things out. And, um, and obviously every, everyone here has helped me, you know, grow up and um, has taught me a lot. Um, the Havocs has grown unbelievably uh, and each year it's you know it's gotten better and better and you know capped off senior night I think that's the loudest it's ever been in that arena after Mike Dunn it was 
Insane. Crazy. So, yeah. But your road, I mean, a lot of people didn't expect maybe to even see you play basketball this year. Mm -hmm. You've had five surgeries. Yep. Uh, one of them was to your back. I mean, yep. and then you get hurt with the rib. I mean, it just seems like it's been surrounding you. But what you've overcome personally, you've got to be extremely pr proud about. I'm very proud of myself. Um, you know, obviously, it crossed my mind that, you know, maybe that's it. Maybe I'm supposed to be doing something else. But, uh, you know, I, th I thank the, the coaches, the, uh, the training staff, uh, Jordy and Gabe, uh, get me back healthy. And, you know, every, every time I go out there, it's, it's, you know, it's special. And I'm almost just happy to be back out there uh, contributing um, and doing what I can. So. You got some extended minutes in that last game against Bakersfield, and you go into uh, Utah Valley, a, a team you, I don't know, man, you got their number. You had 19 points in the uh, earlier game this in January, and you play really well against the Wolverines, but talk a little bit about how, how you play against Utah Valley and how important this road trip is to, to Utah and to Seattle. Uh, obviously, it's super important. We're tied for second place right now. Yeah. Um, personally, I don't know what it is. You know, I, I try to do my thing every game, it just happens, I don't know, I've played well against them before. Um, you know, that, that means nothing, it's next game, next game, so, uh, but as I said, it's super important for us, uh, hopefully we can lock down that second spot. How exciting will it be to go back to a WAC tournament uh, and go to the Orleans and have a chance and participate in this tournament? I mean, every time you get another crack, it's, you know, it's going to be good fun. Um, in some ways, it was good that I sat out that year because I get get another crack. So, uh, you know, super exciting stuff. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Well, good luck in uh, these last two games and at the WAC tournament in Las Vegas. Thank you very much, Barry. Up next, is the heart of Phoenix starting to become title town? Lopes insider Paul Coro joins us to discuss GCU's recent championships. And later, Dan takes the autocomplete challenge. When my hot water heater failed, she was pregnant, in-laws were coming, a little bit of water, it really, it rocked our world. I had no idea the amount of damage that water could do. We called USAA, and they, they greeted me as they always do. Sergeant Baker, how are you? They were on it. It was unbelievable. Having insurance is something everyone needs, but having USAA, that's a privilege. We're the Bakers and we're USAA members for life. USAA, get your insurance quote today. We have been the experts in clean since 1945. We help businesses keep their facilities cleaner, healthier, greener, and safer. We are passionate about what we do and are committed to making your workplace environment the cleanest and healthiest it can be. Curiosity fuels you. So when you're ready for a fulfilling new career, let your curiosity fuel that change. Grand Canyon University's online degree programs in technology make it convenient for you to achieve your dream. GCU teaches you how to plan for innovation. By applying that knowledge to today's most challenging problems, you're helping to build a better tomorrow. Find your purpose at GCU, where advanced technologies drive education. Private, Christian, affordable, and nonprofit. Visit gcu.edu slash online. Hi, I'm Lopes Insider Paul Coro here at GCU, which has turned into the championship capital of the WAC lately. The men's and women's indoor track teams and the men's swimming team recently returned to campus as conference champs. It was a complete four-peat for track and field, with GCU becoming only the second WAC program to pull off winning four consecutive men's and women's indoor titles simultaneously. Eight Lopes won individual WAC titles, and you can read more about how William Winfield IV lived up to his name with his fourth WAC win on GCULopes.com.
It was the first time atop the team podium for the men's swimming team, which dominated the competition with a 70-point gap over second place. Senior Mark Nikolai was named WAC Men's Swimmer of the Year for a third consecutive time, and he's a national threat with the season's second fastest time in the 100-yard backstroke. More noise came from the men's basketball team when GCU Arena rocked for a senior night win. The Lopes honored their four seniors, Trey Drexel, Michael Finke, Matt Jackson, and Jared Martin, each of whom have a senior spotlight that you can read on gculopes.com. That's your one-stop home to keep up on the basketball team stretch run and all of GCU athletics. Here's a look at the upcoming calendar for the Lopes. The baseball team hosts the Fighting Illini at GCU Ballpark March 8th through the 10th. Men's volleyball takes on number seven Loyola Chicago in Antelope Gymnasium. And Lopes softball hosts Lehigh in a doubleheader on March 13th. Just a reminder that all these games can be streamed on GCU.tv. Also, you can subscribe to the Grand Canyon University YouTube page for all live events and to keep updated on everything and anything in the world of GCU. Coming up, why was Coach Marley in a Celine Dion music video? Can he still dunk? And what did he study in college? Dan answers some of the internet's most searched questions about himself. Christian, affordable, nonprofit. Visit gcu.edu. Basketball season is winding down, and the women's hoops team plays their final home games this week. Saturday is senior day, so come on out to GCU Arena to send off all the seniors before the team heads to Vegas for the WAC tournament. Welcome back to the Dan Marley Show. As our curiosity of the world has grown to new levels, the internet has become the hot spot for our answers. Rather than thumbing through pages of books or articles, we've become accustomed to taking our interests to the information highway. So we took the time to compile some of the internet's most searched questions for head coach Dan Marley, and we tip our cap to the creators of the autocomplete challenge. Take one. Hi, this is Dan Marley, and this is the GCU autocomplete interview. Let's do it again. Ready? Hi, this is Dan. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Thank you. Hi, this is Dan Marley, and this is the GCU Autocomplete Interview. All right. How did Dan Marley get his nickname? At Central Michigan University, I was an inside player. I was a post-up player. Had a lot of dunks, not many three-pointers. And we had a guy named Irvin Levy, who was an outside shooter. And they coined the phrase, thunder and lightning. How many NBA teams did Dan Marley play for? And why am I talking in the third person? I played for three NBA teams. I played for the Phoenix Suns for my first seven years in the league. I got traded to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Played for one year for them, then became a free agent. Uh, played for Miami Heat for five years. I signed my last year uh, with the Phoenix Suns for a total of 14 years. How tall am I? I am six foot six. Really? How to pronounce, pronounce Dan Marley? It's like uh, the J is silent as in Bob Marley, so it's just Dan Marley. Serbian. How many times was I an all-star? I was an all-star three times, and I was the first reserve ever to lead an all-star balloting and start as an all-star when it was in Phoenix in 1995. Can Dan Marley play baseball? Uh, yeah, I could. I was an all-state catcher in high school. Played two years uh, at Central Michigan as a first baseman and an outfielder. And up to about four or five years ago, I played in a, a, all, a men's league, a fast fastball, a wooden bat league here in Arizona. So baseball has always been one of my favorites, if not my favorite sport. Can I still dunk? No, not even close. Am my friends with Charles Barkley? I am. Charles is one of my uh, favorite people in all of the world. Uh, one of my favorite teammates, was a blast playing with him. Great friend, would do anything for you. Unbelievable person and a great, uh, great basketball player. Am I the best character in NBA Jam? I have no idea, I don't play it. 
so I don't know. I don't even know who the other character is, but uh, I heard him pretty good. Am I a good golfer? I would tell you I am. My handicap right now is a 1.5, 1.5. I love to go out and hit balls. It's a good stress release for me. I don't get to play as much as I used to. I really love golf. It's fun. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not bad. Oh, more. Was I an Olympian? Yes, 1988. Uh, last time that the college players were able to participate, one of 103 invitees, and I uh, actually made it. We went to Seoul, Korea under Coach John Thompson, one of the greatest uh, achievements of my career to be able to make that Olympic team. So I'm very proud of that. Was I in a Celine Dion music video? I was. That was really cool too. Shot it in LA. Um, it was for a NBA series video. And uh, it's, it's a pretty cool video. Who is my favorite NBA player? Are we talking about right now? Russell Westbrook? Just because I love how hard he plays. And for a guy to average a triple-double, I think he's going to do it again this year, is just an amazing, amazing feat. But what I really like about his intensity and how he attacks the game every night and never seems to take uh, a night off. Who is my favorite teammate? Well, we've already talked about Charles. Charles is one of them. Joe Klein is definitely up there. Joe and I are, are still great friends to this day, but there are many. You know, Kevin Johnson, Danny Ainge, all the way down the road. So many great guys. and. Uh, played on some 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 unbelievable teams. My 14 years in the NBA, I played I made it the, to the playoffs 13 straight years. So uh, you can't do that without a good chemistry and great guys around you. So I was very lucky to have some of the best teammates you could ever ask for. What is the best menu at Marley's? Uh, me menu item at Marley's is probably the Jared Dudley uh, chicken sandwich. Uh, anything with a bun is unbelievable. The buns at Marley's uh, are the best. The slam dunk shrimp is great. Uh, there's really nothing that's bad, but I would say the Jared Dudley uh, chicken sandwich is the best thing on the menu. What pick was I drafted? I was the first round, I was the 14th pick by the Phoenix Suns. I thought I was going 13. Uh, I had no conversation with the Phoenix Suns whatsoever the night before the draft, or even worked out with them. Milwaukee was at 13, said if I was available, they were gonna draft me. So when Milwaukee picked Jeff Greer, another Michigan guy, I was stunned. I had no idea where I was going to go. And at 14, the very next pick, the Phoenix Suns draft me, and I couldn't have been happier. What is the Hustle Award, the Dan Marley Hustle Award? It's something that Mr. Colangelo created to me or for me when I retired. Something that the Phoenix Suns uh, to this day continue to give out is to, it's to the player that uh, uh, epitomizes what they feel they felt like I did. Uh, in my career, which is all the little things. It's pretty cool because it means that the guy, maybe it's the guy that's not in the stat book every night, but the guys really know that uh, is a big part of the team and, and provides a lot of things that help teams win. What did I study in college? As a phys ed major with a minor in sociology, I, I tell everybody if I didn't make it in the NBA, I would have loved to be an FBI agent, Secret Service, something like that, uh, all, something in the law enforcement. That's definitely what I would have done. What is my phone number? It's the same one I've had since uh, cell phones were invented, so I'm sure you can get it. What is my phone number? <laughs> really? People Google it. <laughs> Coming up after the break, as the season winds down, what does Coach Marley think of his chances in the WAC tournament? As a teacher, your calling was always to make a difference and positively impact the future. You live with a deep sense of purpose and strive to inspire generations of change. GCU's online Master's of Education degree program gives you the skills you need to grow and develop your career. You're not just inspiring future generations of leaders, you're giving them the tools they need to succeed. Find your purpose at GCU, where advanced technologies drive education. Private, Christian, affordable, nonprofit. Visit gcu.edu slash online. I will always be with you, my friend. I will be with you until the end. I will always be there when you fall and help you when you need it most.
one more member on our roster. Streets of New York is proud to announce Grand Canyon University to our winning team. We are now the official pizza of GCU. Go Lopes! GCULopes.com. That was the GCU student managers doing what they do best, those trick shots. Welcome back to the Dan Marley Show. Barry alongside the head coach Dan Marley and uh, upcoming games. You travel to Utah Valley. Boy, it couldn't get much bigger. Two games on the road, first at Utah Valley, then at Seattle. The Wolverines and you are tied in second, 10 and four overall. What do you see going in against the Wolverines? Uh, two tough games. I mean, I don't know. Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of weird that you play those two teams the first in the conference and then last. It seems like you haven't seen them forever, and that's that's been the case. But uh, Utah Valley is always a tough competitor for us. They become a kind of a rival of ours. Uh, it'll be a great game against two really good teams. They're having a terrific year, and then Seattle, a team that uh, we may see in the WAC uh, tournament. Uh, have finally got all their pieces together, are healthy and playing better now. So uh, it'll be a heck of a way to close the year. We want to keep our momentum, but it's going to be hard to win two games on the road. And Matt Jackson, who got extended minutes in that last game at home, he had 19, uh, a season or career high for him against Utah that Valley. He plays Mike, really well. Yeah, him. Michael Finke was hurt uh, coming off an injury, so Mike, uh, Matt got to start that game and, and played really big, especially right off the beginning, slashing the basket, and uh, yeah, had a huge game. So hopefully, uh, uh, somebody can step up. Maybe it'll be Matt, somebody, maybe somebody else. Much like the Lopes, uh, Seattle's playing really well here near the end of the season. Winners of three of their last four. They played New Mexico State in the Las Cruces really tight, only lost by six. Yeah, they've gotten healthy. Uh, they've got their, their better players back. So we'll expect a, a tough game against them, as it always is. We've had a, a, a really uh, a good luck against that team in the recent years. We've pretty much dominated them, but we know that uh, They'll be ready to play against us. Uh, it's going to be a 2 o'clock game, which will be a little bit different for us, but we'll be excited for it. You mentioned the upcoming WAC tournament. You might see Seattle. You might see UMKC, depending on where your standings are overall. Having been there last year, how much uh, better are you going in and how much better well, has made you going yeah, in? Yeah, we'll know. It, no matter who we play, it'll be tough. Yeah. Uh, everybody looks forward to the WAC tournament. It's a new season. Uh, everybody thinks they have a chance to win it. So whoever we play, uh, uh, it'll be hard, and we know that we just got to play our best basketball for three games, and uh, hopefully we can do that. Obviously, the support of, of the Havocs coming over, the Lopes Nation coming over there, it's uh, it's huge because that fan support. Yeah, last year was terrific. Uh, the fan support we have, it really li livens up the arena, and uh, you know, we talk about how our Lopes travel, and they do a great job of it. So we expect to see a lot of them in Vegas, and it'll be a great uh, advantage for us. Have you been coaching? I know your practices have been cut back a little bit, but are you coaching with an eye towards that tournament a little bit? Uh, not really. No, there. no. Just uh, you know, trying to get better each day, uh, focusing on the next game, and just uh, doing what we do. And then uh, when we see who we play, we'll start focusing on them. All right. Good luck in uh, these upcoming games and at the WAC tournament. Thank you. All right. That's head coach Dan Marley, and thank you for tuning in to the Dan Marley Show.